Welcome Aquarius. Welcome to In Spiritual Tro. My name is Jenny and I have been called to do a spirit message. What spirit wants you to know? Um, a spirit, a message from spirit to the sign of Aquarius and it's during this lion's gate energy as well as the new moon in Leo energy. Um, some very powerful energy coming in and we're just going to get some messages. This is going to be for the sign of Aquarius, sun, moon, rising and Venus. Um, I'm just doing some staging of the cards, clearing out some energy. I'm going to light up my crystal ball here. Okay. Got my Sedona crystals there, a little Buddha, some candles, and we're going to go ahead and just see. So let's, let's see here. Spirit, what message or messages would you like the sign of Aquarius to know at this time maybe some guidance some healing something that they just need to be aware of something to bring their attention to um at this time which is august 9th we just had that um new moon energy and the lion's gate yesterday and it's going to be effective for a few weeks so let's see what comes up so give us your um guidance and wisdom today for the sign of aquarius so we are going to go ahead and do two layers here and see what wants to come up. All right. So first card out is the Wild Unknown Archetype cards. So Spirit, what is best for Aquarius at this time? No, it's this one. So we have the Shaman. Nice card here. So first card coming out is Shaman. So you might be a healer, a light worker, um, a star seed. Um, a lot of powerful energy with the shaman. So we're going to go ahead and read this card. You know what I did? I forgot my book. <laughs> so hold on one minute. Just be patient and I'm going to go get my book. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and see what this is. Thanks for bearing with me. I had everything set up and just forgot the book, but that's okay. All right, so the shaman here is number 16. 16. All right, so the shaman for you, Aquarius, is the Maji, the sorcerer, and the medicine woman. Three archetypal ingredients constitute the shaman, and all must be present in order to reveal its magic. First, the shaman is activated by longstanding and diligent study, the mentor. Second, its orientation is generously and acute accurately aimed toward the healing of the self, the other and the culture, the healer. And then the third, the shaman has a knack for finding doorways to the other worlds, allowing psychic visions and old magic to leak into this world, the unseen. In this way, the shaman is a master who bridges that every day, that sacred revealing potent power needed desperately in our time. Yet where there's a power, there is also shadow. So the shaman must be vigilant in studying the darkness. This card reminds us that the force of healing is ultimately not our own. We must shape it and share it with the world. The shaman can't be rushed. Working with his archetype requires study and perseverance. Think of it like bringing or marinating, brining or marinating, excuse me. The content must permeate every, every fiber of his being. Contrary to the popular belief, the shaman archetype appears in every vocation. Teachers, directors, surgeons, politicians, and poets are just a few of the faces of a shaman may wear. When it's light, it's fearless a student and practitioner. When dark, it overpromises, blames, hurts self and others. Go deeper, read The Black Elk Speaks in T Michael Tucker's Dreaming with Eyes Open. So there's some kind of energy here. Um, you know, you've already like kind of done a lot of work with the, you know, the healing, um, learning about yourself um, and now it's time to like be that shaman to others so that's a lot of energy coming in here for you so with this uh, Lionsgate portal is opening up as well as this new moon energy in Leo this is where it's guiding you you know to to take form of this towards your mission of being a healer to be a shaman towards others um, so let's go ahead and see what else is coming up and um, I'm getting that you know, a lot of you are already kind of feeling this energy um, because it's, you know, it's been the process as, as you've been going on. But this is just like a more powerful energy with this energy coming in from yesterday. And it says you're good enough, full moon in Virgo. So you're good enough. 
you might be having some doubts like you know why would it be me doing this and am i able to do this this is a big responsibility but spirit is telling you you are you've been preparing for this for a while okay for your whole life actually so all the lessons even the challenges everything that's happened has happened to guide you to this direction so let's see what else And now we have traveling lately. Simplify your life. So you might have a lot of responsibilities now in the 3D world and your environment. And it's time to let go of some of those burdens um, because you're going to be taking on more responsibility with the shaman energy, um, your soul mission and path. So you might have to get rid of some things that aren't as uh, like a priority, um, you know, and maybe possibly let other people take on some of that responsibility for you because you're going to be needing it. <laughs> you have a big job ahead of you. Let's see what else is coming up for you, Aquarius. Okay, and also we have for you throat chakra, express your truth. So whatever this is, it's something that you need to express, whether it's voice or writing. Um, it's time to do some throat chakra energy because communication is key here. And it can be in different forms. Maybe you're going to be doing a blog. Maybe you're going to be speaking publicly. Um, whatever it is, it has to come from your authentic self, your truth, okay? So it's time to do some throat chakra energy. And it's very interesting here, we have this butterfly. So this is going to be like a huge transformation. All right, let's see what else is coming up. And now we have toadstools growth, yeah. Um, I'm definitely getting that you have grown into this role and you are going to continue to grow. And this is going to be a huge growth period for you. And you are actually going to be helping other people grow significantly. You know, it is the age of Aquarius and Aquarius is a very um, um, intelligent humanitarian um, sign. So it does make sense that you could be like this shaman for others. All right, let's see what else. And now we have the Mintikin. Longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Yeah, see, you're, you're a light worker here. And also, a lot of times you might not feel like you belong. Like, you know, you just don't belong here. And th that's why, because you are, you know, you come from Mintican, actually. That might be the place you come from, but you are definitely a light worker. Um, and you're here on Earth for a purpose to raise humanity, um, to raise the vibration of the Earth. And Spirit is telling you now, like, you've done all the work, you've done all the healing. Um, and you've gotten stronger and now with this portal opening it's time to step into that shaman that healer role for your mission all right so we are going to get what you should surrender something you need to surrender at this time okay what does Aquarius need to surrender at this time for this path and mission Surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. Yeah, so this is a big mission. You do need help. So like align with people that have your back, that want the best for you, that can help you with the situation, okay? And I also get that you are going to be meeting more people in alignment, like more of your soul tribe for this mission because this is a huge mission here, so... All right, let's get a uh, goddess. Let's see what goddess is kind of assisting you at this time. Okay, so we have Yamanya, golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Yep. So she's here helping you with this golden opportunity. You know, you got to make sure, make sure you establish that confidence you've went through a lot of things you've learned a lot you've become a lot stronger all those things that you've went through that might be challenging you with your self-worth or, or if you're good enough actually were on were a part of this mission to make you stronger to make you learn those lessons that you needed to know okay so all right so now we're going to get a couple tarot cards for this all right spirit what's what do you want to bring forth Okay, so we have the five of swords yeah see all these conflicts and challenges you've got through you needed to because it was something you needed to learn or something you needed to know um and grow from 
So, you know, don't take it as like you failed before or you're not good enough or things like that. They were there for a reason, okay? To make you stronger, to make you realize what it's like to be in that situation, to make you know um, that you're able to get out of that, you're able to persevere and things like that. And then we have the Page of Pentacles, yes. So you might be getting some messages coming in about something you need to do in your material world here. You know, it might be a new beginning in your material world as well. All right, so now we're gonna get another round get another round for you Aquarius all right this was like screaming to me here the hunter so you have this hunter here this is number nine so let's see what's coming up um I'm getting many things with this the hunter and that's actually interesting that it's the black horse which is black is always considered like with darkness but you have this light shining in I really think you've had to like really hunt and dig deep to figure out and hold on to that light to be able to do this mission um you know and find that like you've went through a lot of things like hell sometimes um and sometimes you might not even felt like you could even get get, get through it or make it but you did you know you found that you you have that inner light shining because it was always there and you always knew you were here for a purpose here so let's go ahead and read this book the hunter it's number nine see what else comes up with it okay <clears throat> So the hunter is the seeker, the pursuer, and the predator. The hunter hunts. They are on a precise mission. Isn't that interesting? With no aim. Isn't that some? That is something. Precise mission with no aim. Yeah, you've kind of like had to kind of sometimes blunder through things because you just weren't sure what you were here for. You didn't feel like you belonged here, you know? So you're on a precise mission with no aim. To return home empty-handed would be to oh, I'm sorry to return home empty-handed would be to fail which is not an option in the hunter's eyes the archetype will journey far and wide seek the prize that calls to his heart or stomach tales of bravery and feats of strength often result creating a life full of adventure the hunter is skillful quick decisive and results oriented like the great hunting goddess Artemis who carries his quiver upon his back the hunter typically has a weapon of choice. When this card appears, it is critical that you ask three questions. What am I hunting? Why am I hunting it? Is the weapon I hold so tightly in my grip truly needed for the task at hand? Study the Greek goddess Artemis. Notice her nuanced relationship to the moon, the earth, and the feminine. The predator honors its prey with a precise and skillful hunt. The hunter deeply reveres the life it aims to take. When you activate the hunter archetype, you're aligning your energy with the great creatures of the world, the lion, the wolf, the tiger, the shark. Do so with care. When light, it's focused, energized, respectful, and seasoned. When dark, irresponsible, violates, violent, and poaching. Go deeper. Frida Kalos, the wounded deer. Okay. All right. So I'm really getting like, you know, you've been on this hunt for a while to figure out why you're here on earth. You didn't feel like you belong, but you are a light worker and a star seed. And you've went through all these challenges and that also makes you doubtful and things like that. But realize that this was part of your mission the whole time. Okay. You still have that light shining within. You see how this light shining on this darkness of this horse, you know, and he's still persevering towards the light. So let's see what else is coming up. What else, spirit, please? Confidence is your key to success. Yeah, there you go again. And look, the new moon in Leo, that's what we just had. Yes, so spirit is telling you, you need to hold on to that confidence and know you are here for an important mission. You know, any of that doubt or not feeling like you belong is, is just because you came from wherever you were from, what was that, Mintican or whatever? And, you know, you're a spirit, so you of course might feel uncomfortable on earth. And, and Aquarius is, like I said, a very humanitarian, unique sign as it is. Um, so you might not feel like you belong, you know? So confidence is the key to your success. And you know, don't have any doubts because you've had, you know, challenges and things like that. You needed those. So let's see what else is coming up. Now we have rejuvenating rain clear the past and heal the present yeah so if you have any like residual um things in the past that you're holding, holding on to or that's blocking you or anything like that it's time to clear that you know don't live in the past you know what was is already over 
Don't live on any mistakes that you've made. That's the past. You learned from them and got stronger. It's time to move forward into the and in, in, into the present. You know, make sure it's healed so you can move forward. All right. All right. Let's see what else. Especially anything like self worth or if anybody's put you down or criticized you, it's time to clear that out because confidence is key. All right. Let's see what else is coming up for you. Look at that freedom. Yep. Yes. And it's leading to your freedom. Like you, you are free to go about and be the shaman now. All right. Let's see what else is coming up. I'm put these over here. All right. My tripod I had um, was kind of broken and my son started doing some kind of videos. So I let him have it when I moved. <laughs> so now I have to get another one. But this works. All right. So let's see. Spirit, what else is coming up for us, please? For Aquarius. And now we have the B spirit prosperity. Yeah. This is leading into your prosperity. I mean, and also too, you have a lot of abundance right now. You just, it depends on how you look at it, right? But you do. You have a lot of potential. Um, you're here for a major purpose uh, and mission. Um, and you're going to get a lot more pros prosperity too. Of course, it's going to be hard work, but you are going to do it. So let's go ahead and see what else is coming up with these light work cards. The age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Yeah, what I tell you? Yes, you've been uh, training for this for lifetimes. So, of course, you've had to go through a lot, right? Just don't let the, that um, stuff you've been through and the people's comments and the struggles, don't let that keep you down or block your confidence. You have been training for this for lifetimes, and now you are ready, okay? Now this um, Lionsgate... And everything we've been through lately and the new moon in Leo is like the kickstart to your beginning of this, okay? So let's see what else is coming up. Let's see what you need to surrender to. What you need to surrender, excuse me. I love that card. It looks like it's shining, doesn't it? Wow. And that kind of looks like an Aquarius kind of with me with the light shining, the uniqueness about it. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. Surrender to the magic of who you are. Yes, we are all have magic in us, even the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. Well, oh, isn't that perfect for the message we've been saying? Yes. And look, there's a horse. And look, it's a white one this time. And light all around it. This, oh, wow, this is something. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and get a goddess. What goddess is helping you at this time? Let me move these cards out of the way. Really kind of hard with one, one hand. I gotta get a, a little tripod or something. Okay, so let's see. What goddess is helping Aquarius at this time? Please, spirit, let us know. This one, this one. Okay. Oh, Una. Easy does it. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Yes. So the spirit is saying, you know, just keep going with the flow. Keep doing what you're doing. If there's any, you know, past wounds or anything you're holding on to your past or any confidence or self-worth issues, now's the time to like work on them because there's no rush, right? No rush. Things are happening the way they're supposed to. Divine timing. Trust in the process. I think my cat's crying in the other room, but I'll get her in a second. She must have got shut in. <laughs> All right, let me see a couple of tarot cards for you, Aquarius. Okay, so we have this one. Okay, so now we have, look, see this? This is the Six of Cups. Yeah, so there again, it's that nostalgia. It's nice to have memories, but make sure you don't romanticize the memories. You know, I see so many people that have, are in bad relationships or things like that, and they are just like dying to get out, and they're miserable. And then when they get out, they're like missing that situation again. Like, <laughs> it's like you were miserable, you know? So, you know, just, you know, take the good memories. This also could be about childhood, like your child, inner child. So if there's like, again, any child issues or wounds from your inner child, like things that's happened to you, it's time to clear those up. Um, you know, keep the good memories, let go of the bad ones, things like that. So you might be a little nostalgic right now and things. Now we have the Knight of Cups. This is somebody who, uh, again, you, you know, be careful with that romanticizing things. Um, cause this guy wears a sword on the sleeve and he's a very romantic person. Um, also it's like taking action towards, you know, fulfilling your emotions and things like that. Okay. So you have a lot of cups energy, so it could be an emotional time for you as well right now. 
you know, having emotions that you're not quite sure about. And then we have the hangman, yeah. Looking at things in a certain kind of perspective. I'm sorry, I turned that upside down. You know, make sure um, you're putting things in perspective the correct way, you know. Don't get just like one thought, one-sided thoughts, you know, and beat yourself down or anything, okay? So now we are going to get uh, a couple other cards over here, which are the Soul Journey cards, and we're going to get a Let It Go card. And then we're going to wrap this up. But, yeah, this is great news for you, um, Aquarius. And please, don't doubt yourself, you know? You've probably already been feeling it, you know? You already got that, like, maybe you don't feel like you belong here on Earth. Um, you know, trust in that, okay? Because this is, like, opening up to you. Really trust your intuition and know your worth and know that you're here for a, a, a major purpose here, okay? And, you know, don't be discouraged if it's something small because even small things matter, right? So you might be just getting, like, little small things right now. You know, even, like, oh, helping somebody that broke, you know, had a flat tire and you're helping them or you know, anything like that. It could be something small first. It might not be like, oh my God, I have this major mission right away. Now you're going to get gradually into it, but things are going to be starting up right now. You know, this Lionsgate and New Moon is really pushing that energy. You're ready. Yeah. See, worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Yeah. Don't worry too much. Like Spirit was saying, just go with the flow. Everything's going correct, you know? Don't worry that if you're not good enough to be able to do it, you know, or if you can't do it, you know. And then we have failure. Yeah, you got to get out of that. There's some kind of self-doubt here. And you need to understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So any failures from your past, remember, so let go of the past. Don't be stuck in that worrying about it, okay? That's just going to keep you slower to move forward, you know. Those were necessary for to teach you and make you stronger. And forgiveness. I understand that harboring, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Yeah. And if you have any resentments towards yourself or others or any mistakes you've made, it's time to forgive. Okay. So we are going to get a let it go card and then we're going to be finished with this. All right. Let it go card. Let's do it this way. Except you don't lack for anything. The whole world belongs to you. Well, there you go, Aquarius. The whole world belongs to you. And you're definitely here for a major purpose for healing others and raising the vibration of the earth and things like that. So thanks so much for watching, Aquarius. Um, uh, I definitely support you. We all could be um, so grateful for people of raising the vibration and, and healing others and things like that. So great for you. I'm, I'm so happy for you. So thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful rest of your month and take care. Bye.